News Nation correspondent Rudabay Shabazi joining us now, who was there as the Attorney General met not only with uh, the police here in Chicago, but the mayor as well. Hi, Rudabay. Hi. Well, the attorney general is here. He is announcing the launch of strike teams across the country, Leland. That's L.A., Chicago, San Francisco Bay Area, Washington, D.C., New York. And the idea is to target the trafficking of these guns. We know that there is no federal law against gun trafficking, so they're looking at different ways across jurisdictions to prosecute with other statutes when it comes to trafficking guns. For example, there are loopholes where people go to to uh, areas that are lax with gun control and then bring those guns into areas with stricter gun laws. Uh, we know that Chicago is ground zero. You mentioned uh, the mass shootings last night, three of them in a matter of six hours. One of those was a party bus that involved about 36 people, 40 people getting off the bus. They stopped at a gas station to use the restroom to get something to eat and drink. An SUV then pulled up and opened fire on the crowd. Eight people were wounded. One of those is in critical condition. And one of the victims was just an innocent bystander who was there just pumping gas. So we know that this is a major issue across the country, especially when you compare it to other first world nations, developed nations. Uh, 2021 is on track to become the deadliest year in two decades when it comes to gun violence. We are uh, experiencing um, drive-by shootings, as we mentioned in our last press conference, much more than we've seen in the last several decades. I think it's not an exaggeration to say we are in a battle for the heart and soul of some of these communities as it relates to violence. Uh, the gun violence tragedy is uh, now facing the country and facing it over many years. Uh, needless to say, affects our communities and their security and safety, but it also affects the community of law enforcement officers. Uh, everyone around this table uh, knows what happened in Chicago with two ATF officers being shot and a task force officer being shot. Um, and so this strikes not only at the communities we serve, but at our own community of law enforcement. And Leland, the attorney general today also calling for the confirmation of David Chipman as the head of the ATF. It hasn't had a leader since 2015. He believes having a leadership structure uh, will make a big impact on gun violence across the country. In terms of how the ATF can crack down on illegal sales. Uh, Ruta Bay, thank you very much. Coming up, President Biden addresses a half empty auditorium. So, what's the report card?